if you were to get involved in the region as a country, would you recommend to start in a certain country uh, to, to kind of learn the ropes a little bit and test the ground in a certain country or a couple of countries and, and avoid one which may be the most difficult and which would actually you know, put you off uh, that endeavor? Well, yeah, both I mean, that's, a, there. Yeah, that's a very good question to ask. Um, typically, companies start with where they've got sales. They want to protect their sales markets. Um, I would definitely say do not start in a country where you'd have no one on the ground selling products. There is no point removing counterfeits and replacing them with more counterfeits. Unless you can sell more products, you're going to spend a huge amount of money on nothing. So start with where you have representation, whether it's a, either a small office or a sales rep or a distributor. Um, obviously, the more developed a country is, the easier this is to do. So, you know, Singapore is the obvious starting point. It's incredibly straightforward to do this kind of work in Singapore. You don't expect to have high volumes of counterfeits there. There'll just be a few, perhaps. Um, then you'd need to start thinking about where you have a market, whether it's Malaysia or Philippines, Vietnam, Indonesia, Thailand, whichever of those countries you, you've got a, a sales market in or are about to launch in, then you would ally that to saying, okay, well, how do I deal with the counterfeits on the platforms? Am I going to get myself set up with some level of uh, support locally from an IP firm? Am I going to start talking to the local uh, representative organizations in that country that can maybe assist me? Do I start talking directly to these platforms? And maybe some of them will respond to you and say, yes, you've got to do this and this and this. And maybe if you can get the electronic communication system set up, you, you can start work there. Or you could hire one of the one of the bigger international sort of uh, uh, software companies to do these these kind of things. If you can get a low rate for them just to start in one country, it's quite possible to do that as well.